Hello, everybody, welcome. We got Sword and Shield Zemazente box. You know, day one Zemazente Shield. Yeah, and then we got three extra packs here. Whew, I'm hyped for the release of Sword and Shield. I hope you guys are too. I actually can't wait that I'm starting to opening this box right now. Not even a proper introduction. Just get this started. Actually looks so sick. So we got eight packs in here, and then we got the three with the Galarian Ponyta. Now, the Galarian Ponyta was one of the first Pokemon I started shiny hunting for, and I started shiny hunting in Sword and Shield. So Galarian Ponyta gets a big thumbs up from me. Start opening this. Oh, oh, and yeah, I forgot about this booklet. I haven't done an Elite Trainer box in such a while. Sorry if this is going a little too fast paced for y'all, but you know, here are some of the cards you can get. They look so beautiful. That Snorlax VMAX card. Oh, anyways, put this to the side. I think I will also get a Zacian box eventually, but for now, Zemazente is the go-to because Zemazente is the OG. So we got the eight packs here. I'm gonna open, I'm gonna get set these packs in a little bit. Of course, the energies, and the energies look a little fresh. Fairy. They got rid of Fairy, so I don't actually know why that was in here, but hey. So, we got the code card, which I'm going to be using. But here are the dividers. The sleeves, which we're not going to be using just yet. I might be using that for if I start playing Pokemon normally. I got a couple sleeves here. Actually, we're not going to be using those ones. We're going to be using the team-up ones. I know, I know. The dice and the damage counter. That looks so so nice, Amazente. I can't wait to get into these. So, these ones have been coming in a lot worse, the cards. So, like the Galarian Ponyta. And I've started to recognize that. And I'm debating if I want to actually search for a PSA 10 potential Ponyta because they just kind of look like they're not happening and wow that damaged the pack because they was glued Of course, it's got to be my homie Zemazente so The code card. So this one's damaged with a little nick so See that's a no contender the little nick is Right there, but these cards are so bent that I feel like it would be almost like super nice just getting a PSA 10 of these because I feel like that would just be like a oh my goodness like a big moment so here's the coin and we got 8 plus 3 so we got 11 Pokemon Sword and Shield packs now we got to determine which Pokemon is going to have the rights to say they're going to be the last one so we have a Zemazente here a Lapras a Snorlax V this is also another Snorlax this is a Lapras Zemazente Zacian now, I believe these are the four cover arts. And we're going to put them all to the side. And this is a Battle Royale. And the winner officially gets their packs at the end. So, you know how we normally save a pack for the end because you believe that's a good luck one? Those are fighting it off for that. Anyways, we're on to this. We get the Snorlax. Now, I really want to play this online. So, I am going to keep the codes, of course. So, one, two, three, four as it stays the same i was gonna say fairy energy grass energy dark yay lucky egg mantine crushing hammer muna snom grookie shoulder mawile reverse holo gengar now the effect or the ability of this actually does look pretty broken to me and i think it will be used especially if you're using it with a wobbuffet v because you can obviously just stack counters on it and it looks broken and a scented scorch ah went down there but a reverse holo gengar not too shabby not too shabby it's a nice card definitely can be used competitively lapras get this going so far nothing too too big here Start opening this. Oh, this this one has a little tight. Okay, we got it. We got it. And the code card goes there. One, two, three, four. I always put the code cards to the side. Psychic energy. Team Yell Grunt. I was about to say Team Rocket. Drizzle. 
a Galarian Stunkfish, Sinistee, Maractus, Pikachu, Galarian Meowth, Sizzlipede, Reverse Hollow Roselia, and Snorlax. Next pack, Zemazente. Okay. I see a Krabby. So that means we got a Krabby in this pack, everyone. You can see right there, the Krabby. Krabby. One, two, three, four. I declare no more. Anyway, Steel. Palpad. Citrus Berry. Quillfish. I didn't ever actually seen this. If this Pokemon is your act. Oh, no, I have. I had this in my pre-release tournament. Krabby. Galarian Zigzagoon, which is going to be very heavily used. Gossiflower. Silly Cobra. Yamper. Reverse Holo Toxic Kirk, which I haven't seen. Put two damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon during checkup. Okay, and Santa Cobra or Santa Conda. The Pokemon gods aren't being very generous, are they? Okay, and I actually saw the code card. It might be something good. It might just be a hollow rare. But anyways, Water Energy, Quillfish, Poke Kid, Energy Search. Minchino, Chinchow, Krogunt, Galarian Meowth, Scorbunny, one of the first Pokemon I shiny hunted, Reverse Holo Wulu, and Stone Journer V. I feel like I get this card a lot, but you can see right there, it's not too bad in condition. It is very off centered, actually. The right is bigger than the left. This right here is bigger than this. But anyways, I'm going to put that into a sleeve. Anyways, on to the next one, Zemazente. This is very hype right now. Very, very hype. One, two, three, four. Hopefully we don't get another Stone Journer. Steel. I didn't see the code card, but Switch. Pharaoh Seed. Raboot. Galarian Ponyta. Sobble, Maractus, Mudbray, Ponyard, Reverse Hollow Rhyhorn, and a Drapion. Okay, Lapras. A Lapras on the pack. Hopefully we get a Lapras V in the pack. A Lapras V Max, I already got two of those. That I haven't showed you guys yet, but I got two of those. Psychic Energy. Raboot. Sudowoodo. Hop. Grookey. Qfant. Baltoy. Chinchow. Sizzlipede. Chinchow. Reversal Chinchow. And. Musharna. Oh, Snow X V until. And then we're on to the Battle Royale. We've actually had no luck besides the Stone Journey. Which I actually don't even know where I put. I'll put it up there. Okay. One, two, three, four. Fire energy. Lucky egg. Aurora energy. Double. Score bunny. Nicket. Chinchow. Diglett. Pharaoh seed. Reverse Hollowulu. And a Cromorant. So, like that, we're on to the final four. So, the two legendary dogs get status. So, they're going to be the last two. Zemazente is my main one, so he's going to be last. Snorlax is going to be first. So, in my pre-release tournament, I actually got the VMAX Snorlax first. In my first ever Sword and Shield pack. So, I feel like Snorlax should actually get privilege, but I'm not the one to say anything. So, Steel Energy. Pharaoh Seed. Heat more, metal saucer, Galarian Meowth, Sizzlipede, Wooloo, Grookey, Sobble, Reverse Holo Bebe, and <sighs> a Cromorant. Onto the Snorlax, Lapras, you might be dead last. Actually, I'm going to put the rare down here so we know which, what the best pull is. Maybe the Reverse Holo Bebe might have actually been the best pull but you know anyway psychic energy metal saucer 
Rotom bike. No, no, is it a Rotom bike? Yep. Yeah. Big Charm. Galarian Ponyta. Minchino. Sobble. Blipbug. Baltoy. Reverse Hollow Hitmonlee. And Claydol. Now, the Reverse Hollow Hitmonlee is nice. I actually know that this and Hitmonchan are actually going to be used. I actually did play against one in the online TCG, so it was nice. Faceon's second last. Zemazente is going to come in clutch because Zemazente always comes in clutch. Team Shield. Two, three, four. Water Energy. Pokemon Catcher. Haunter. Vitality Band. Galarian Ponyta. Cottony. Score Bunny. Silicobra. Yamper. Reverse Hollow. Rookadee. And. Hollow Cinder Race. Once during your turn, when this Pokemon moves from your bench to your active spot, you may attach it to two fire energies from your discard pile to it. Raytheon's winning, but we've, we've really had no luck, have we? Oh. This is not looking good. Two, three, four. Water Energy. Team Yell Grunt. Hitmonlee, Salazzle, Yamper, Krabby, Cufant, Baltoy, Salandi, Reverse Hollow Baltoy, and Indeedee V. Once during your turn, you may heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. Okay, so this actually does look nice. Does look like it will be used competitively. So, I call that a, a dub. Not a big dub, but a dub nonetheless. So we really did not get too too much in here. We did get the Ndidi and the Stone Drainer. The Ndidi was nice, but the rest of the pulls are just kind of eh. But yeah, what else can I do? This is the first Sword and Shield pack opening on this channel. So I hope you all did enjoy that video. I hope you give it a thumbs up, comment, like, rate, subscribe. There definitely will be more to come. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces!